Now at 9, we are following breaking these news this morning. A SWAT team moving in on a home in Phoenix. A suspected human smuggling situation. You see all those people there as we take a closer look. This is happening right now near 27th Avenue and Indian School. They're telling us they heard flashbangs going off there. Yeah, so Jamie's been outside that scene for quite a while. She joins us with the latest on what we know, and I'm sure neighbors are relieved that this finally happened, Jamie. Uh, good morning to you. We know at least upwards of 50 people are being held right now. I'm going to show you the shot from the street here. Uh, the street blocked off in this uh, small residential neighborhood of Montecito and 29th Avenue. Then I want to give you a look from the sky here. Our AZ family drone live above the scene. And you can see SWAT is involved here. Phoenix police police is involved here uh, and also border patrol. You see that black SUV that's pulled into the front uh, yard of that house there and then take a look on the left side of your screen. That is where you will see all those people, several vans with the doors thrown open as well. Uh, this we are being told is a human smuggling investigation. Uh, this is what border patrol told me this morning. So what we have is a search warrant on one of these residences here. This is an ongoing investigation. We don't have much information for you at this moment. All I can tell you is that um, this is a uh, human smuggling organization that they're targeting. And uh, there's been some arrests made. We don't have the numbers of arrests, but as more information uh, comes along, we'll be able to have, we'll be happy to give you that information. So we'll be working to get you more information today. They are working for information right now as well. They wanted to know who these people are, why they're here, and what their um, contact is and connection is with this possible human smuggling investigation. Again, uh, you see a lot of activity out here. And uh, I think Yetta said it. It was called in, actually, as um, uh, someone called into our station saying they had heard flashbangs in the neighborhood so that could have been when SWAT initially made their appearance out here and so you see all those people uh, sitting in the alleyway it's getting hot out here uh, folks are going to be working to kind of uh, clean up this investigation quickly and get people out of the heat uh, so we see police out here Phoenix police out here we see Border Patrol out here uh, we have been told that Maricopa County will not be um, taking the lead on this but several several agencies here I was going to say, it looks like a huge presence out there with different organizations all teaming in, all coming in at one place. This is not something that just happened. This is obviously something they've been working on and looking into. Yeah. In fact, I learned the name of the uh, task force that is involved here. So federal agents involved in this investigation, of course, calling on our local crews as well for help. This is the High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area Task Force. Uh, so they are called in when there is drug smuggling happening. So we already know uh, from Border Patrol that this is a human smuggling situation with upwards of some 50 people, as we can see ourselves from the drone. But now we're also learning with the Haida Task Force involved that this is a drug smuggling situation likely as well. So we'll continue to work to get you more information about this and bring you that information as soon as we get it. Back to you. Jamie, great work out there and getting the information. Uh, we, amazing that we're seeing all these images from the sky yeah. through our drone and down on the uh, crew with you guys. So thank you for that, and we'll follow this all morning long, of course.